Five-star quarterback Dylan Raiola has finally committed to the Georgia Bulldogs. Big, big deal. Number one player in the country. Former Ohio State commit, now on the commit list for Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs. Now, the big question that I've got multiple times in the past 24 hours over on Dog Post is who is next? Who is Dylan Raiola going to bring with him to Athens? Who is he recruiting? What's the latest? Who could be the next to commit to Georgia? And basically, that's what this video is going to be all about. I've got a few guys in mind I'm going to break down, uh, guys that I think have a real chance to follow Dylan Raiola to Georgia. Uh, so let's jump right into it now. The first guy I want to talk about, actually, the four guys are Jeremiah Smith, five-star wide receiver from South Florida, uh, currently committed to Ohio State, Ryan Wingo from Missouri, another five-star receiver, Jaden Riddell, four-star tight end from Missouri, and then Draylon Miller, who I spoke with earlier this week. There's a big story over on Dog Post, and you're going to love the quotes that he gave me. So make sure you go check that out um, out of Texas. He's also a guy who told me that, hey, I've been hearing from Dylan Raiola for a hot minute now. So he's already been recruiting me to Georgia. But I want to start off talking about Jeremiah Smith because if Dylan Raiola is not the number one player in the country right now, he is ranked that. But if he's really not number one, Jeremiah Smith is. I saw him at a seven-on-seven -seven camp earlier this spring over in Cartersville. He is absolutely the real deal. 6'3", 200 pounds. It checks every box. He's got size, speed, incredible hands, body control, uh, you know, ball skills, and insane catch radius. He's a fluid route runner. He has everything you look for in a receiver. Number two player in the country. Caught 58 passes last year for over a thousand yards and 20 touchdowns. Guy's a scoring machine. He's going to be in Athens this weekend for his official visit. And I've been told that Dylan Raiola is also going to be in Athens this weekend for an unofficial visit. He's ready to get on campus, meet with these guys in person, and bring them to Georgia. Jeremiah Smith is a Ohio State commitment right now. And sources told me at that camp that I was at, spoke with a lot of people, you know, just asking if Georgia had a shot. And they said that he is pretty locked in with Ohio State. And yeah, you can't blame them for that, right? They are wide receiver university right now. If it's not Alabama, it's Ohio State. I can totally understand why any wide receiver in the country would want to go to Ohio State. It makes sense. But I was also told that if Dylan Raiola jumps on board publicly, because I, I think he's been a silent since March, and a lot of other people felt the same way, but they said once Raiola jumps on board and commits to Georgia publicly, that that would be a big, big deal for Jeremiah Smith. So, We'll see what happens. Uh, it won't be easy to get him away from Ohio State, but I really do think they have a shot. And if they do land him, it's going to come down to what happens this weekend on his official visit with Dylan Raiola in town. This is the weekend where Georgia needs to really impress him and get him uh, to flip from Ohio State. So that's the number one target I think everyone's talking about. Ryan Wingo, he's going to be in town for his official visit June 2nd with Dylan Raiola, who will be in town for his official visit as well. 6'2", 205. I spoke with this head coach uh, several weeks ago about what makes him a five-star, and the kid can do everything. Um, he caught 41 passes last year, 785 yards, just under 20 yards to catch 12 touchdowns defensively, made 44 tackles, two sacks, two interceptions, a defensive touchdown. He's the best punter in the area, one of the best punt returners and kick returners in the area as well. This kid does it all against 6'2", 205. So he's a big kid, um, took his first visit to Georgia in March. I was told the Tennessee staff was not thrilled that that was happening. They were the front runner for him and in the driver's seat in his recruitment. And it's kind of switched. It was Tennessee leading the way. Now I think it's Georgia. And he has been linked to Dylan Raiola for a long, long time now. Again, they're going to be in uh, in town together, both taking their official visit the same weekend, first weekend in June. He is definitely a guy to keep an eye on. Um, number 21 player in the country. Uh, this is not just some really good player. He's one of the best in the country. Number five wide receiver. Uh, again, he's a deep threat. You can help him. Uh, he can help you in the screen game, short passing game, intermediate passing game. This guy is a weapon no matter where he's lined up. If he's on the field, he's going to be one of the best players on the field, regardless of position. He is a big, big deal. Now, uh, a tight end. Obviously, Todd Harley is one of the best. He is the best tight ends coach in America, one of the best overall recruiters in the country. He has his eyes set on Jaden Riddell, a four-star tight end from Missouri. He's big, and he plays a lot of wide receiver. He's just a pass catcher, right? 6'4", 235. He's a big dude. 
Um, 49 catches, just over 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. Uh, can win jump balls. He can create separation on his own for someone 235. He can block, but he is a big-time mismatch uh, when a linebacker is trying to cover this kid because they really can't. So whether he's going deep, he can you know stretch the field vertically. He's great in the middle of the field. He can catch and run big-time yards after the catch. There's a reason Todd Hartley really, really wants him. After losing Landon Thomas, a five-star from Colquitt County in South Georgia, after he flipped from Florida State not too long ago. Jane Riddell is the guy I've been told that has moved up Hartley's board. Big, big deal. He's another guy who is, uh, has been linked with Dylan Raiola for a long time. If Raiola jumps on board, that's going to open up Jane Riddell's eyes. Alabama is still in the mix. Tennessee is still in the mix. Um, number 49 player in the country. Again, if you're a top 50 player in the country, you're elite. That is the elite of the elite, top 50 player in the country. Big, big deal. He's going to be in town for his official visit June 17th. Now, he's got other official visits lined up, too. We'll see if maybe he moves that visit earlier to be on campus um, you know, with Dylan Raiola that first week of June. So I don't think he's going to schedule some things around. He might be in town this weekend with Jeremiah Smith and with Dylan Raiola unofficially. Now, I haven't confirmed that with him, but there are other people who have told me don't be surprised if Jaden Riddell shows up in Athens this weekend. That would be massive. And then I would put him on possible commit watch and then change up his official visits. So if he's in town this weekend, he's a guy who I think could absolutely pop and say, you know what? I'm done. I want to play with Raiola. I want to be here in Athens. This is where I want to be. I'm going to shut down my recruitment. So he's definitely one to keep an eye on this weekend. And then uh, Draylon Miller is another guy that I want to talk about. Six foot, 190 pounds out of Texas. Caught 59 passes for 1,400 yards and 21 touchdowns. You scored 21 touchdowns at wide receiver. You're a special, special prospect. He is the number 77 overall player in the country. And he basically told me that, you know, Athens, Georgia is the perfect place to play college football. That That's a real quote. You can read it on Dog Post. Um, that story is already up. Want to get that out because when he said that, I'm thinking, wow, man, I know – you're from Texas, so you're not used to watching elite programs. Texas is not relevant. Texas a is not relevant. The most relevant college football program in the state of Texas is TCU, who just played for a national championship, got beat by 100 points by the dogs. And that has to be music to his ears, right? When Dylan Raiola, number one player in the country, committed to the number one program in the country, is telling you to come with him, and you're from Texas, right? You're dying to play big time college football and you're not going to do it in the state of Texas right now. So he's definitely a player to watch, top 100 player in the country. And that quote I thought was incredibly eye opening. He has not set an official visit to Georgia just yet or anywhere to my knowledge. But when those visits happen, I expect Georgia to get one. Now, another prospect I want to talk about, not in the 24 class, he's in the 25 class. He's just uh, was a sophomore, will be a junior this year. Ryan Williams, wide receiver uh, from Alabama, committed to Alabama, number three player in the country, I think, for the 25 class. This kid is elite, elite, elite. Sources in Alabama tell me that this is probably the best wide receiver prospect to come out of the state of Alabama since Julio Jones. They think this guy is that good. He caught 88 passes last year as a sophomore for 1,641 yards and 24 touchdowns as a sophomore. Averaged about 100 yards a game. Also rushed 57 times for 700 more yards and 15 more touchdowns. Now it's a Kennesaw State, so my math is not great, but that is 39 touchdowns total between receiving and rushing. This guy is elite, uh, number one wide receiver in the country for the 25 class. I say all this to say that he will be in town this weekend in Athens for an official visit. Excuse me, unofficial visit. He's not... Uh, a rising senior yet. So uh, plenty of time for him to take those officials, but unofficial visit for the rising junior. He'll be in Athens this weekend. So Kirby has Dylan Raiola, number one player in the country on campus this weekend. He's got number one wide receiver, Jeremiah Smith, Ohio State commit on campus this weekend for an official visit. And then he's got the number one wide receiver in the country, top five player in the country. Again, I think he's number three overall in the country for the 25 class, Ryan Williams in town for an unofficial visit this weekend. So massive, massive recruiting weekend in Georgia. But if you're on dog post, you knew 
all about that, right? You knew this was all coming. You know where Mike Bobo is going. You know where he was yesterday. You know which quarterbacks he's checking on this week. Lots of insider recruiting scoop on dog posts because this is where I get to shine. I love this stuff. I love covering Georgia recruiting. Uh, it's mostly good news. So it's easy to, you know, write stories when you know that the dog post members are going to enjoy what you're writing and look forward to it. So I, I love making these videos, but all of this information or most of this information is already on dog post before I make these videos. So if you want to be a dog post member, now is a great time to sign up because uh, the dogs are about to go on a massive, massive recruiting run. So make sure you're uh, over on dog post, check us out, join the newsletter because a lot of our stories are free. Some of them aren't, but a lot of them are. So uh, join the newsletter. You get an email every day with all the stories and you can stay up to date. You can tell all your friends what's going on uh, because you're on dog post. So, um, just want to make this video uh, about the domino effect, the Riola effect that could be happening very, very soon in Athens, Georgia. Guys, thanks for watching this video. As always, stay tuned to the next one coming up right now. I'll see you over on Dog Post.